I'm going to get started today. It's going to be a short class again today. There won't be any homework this weekend. Let's go over a couple of things. We mentioned yesterday about heat, but we didn't define it. So we'll start with defining heat and then three ways you can transfer heat. So heat is the energy that is transferred between objects that are at different temperatures. So if you were to touch an object that felt cold to you, what's happening is that heat is leaving your hand and going into the object. If something feels warm to you, it's just the opposite. You're feeling warmth because heat is leaving the object to go into your hand. Heat always flows from hot to cold. So look at three ways um, heat is transferred. First is conduction. And so that's transfer between things that are touching. Second way is convection, and that would be the transfer of energy through the motion of fluids. And a fluid could be a liquid or a gas. And the third way is radiation. And that's a transfer of energy through electromagnetic waves would be things like white, uh, light or x-rays, uh, gamma rays, infrared light, anything that's not visible to us or light being visible. But it's energy that's transferred in the form of waves that can be through space without any matter present. That'd be things like UV, light, infrared. So the way to illustrate these three ways would be to think of, you know, a pot on a stove. I'm going to try to draw this. So you have a stovetop with a red hot burner, and you put a pot on top of the stovetop. So the stove is touching the pot. It is transfer energy that way. So the touching of the pot to the red hot burner is conduction. And over time, the heat's going to transfer to the pot and make the bottom part hot. So conduction, touching the red hot burner to the pot surface makes that part hot. Then the inside you have water. The water touches the sides of the pot. And so by conduction, it makes the water warm. Now, the water will get hot as the bottom to start with. And it'll work its way up. When you have a fluid, whether it's water or air, and one part's hotter than the other part, the, hot, the part that's hot is going to be less dense 
so this bottom part is a lot hotter than the top part of the water. And it's going to rise. So the hot water down here, which is less dense, will rise to the top. And the cold water, being more dense, will sink to the bottom. And so you have this swirling movement going on where the hot water rises, the cold water sinks. And that's convection. And then the third energy transfer radiation, that would be from the red hot coils itself. And so it radiates heat outward. And that's how you can feel the heat of the pot, even though you're not close to it. Radiation comes off the red hot coil, comes off the pot, and that warms the surroundings. Okay, so I want to show you a couple of videos that illustrate these things. Uh, they're very short. Can you explain what the convection is a little bit more, like what in this picture, what it would be? Oh, sure. Yeah. Let me go back for a second. I just lost my screen. Let me get these, I have these videos pulled up. Okay, so you asked about convection and more about that and what's going on with it. Um, so the hot water down here, this is the hottest part because the burner is touching this part right here. And so it makes the water down here hot. But when the water gets hot, the molecules move faster. They spread apart. That makes them less dense. And because they become less dense, they're going to float. The cold, oh, okay. yeah, the cold water on top will sink because they're closer together. They're not going as fast. And so they're more dense. And so the more dense water will sink, the less dense water is going to rise. And that makes convection currents. Okay, let me go ahead and show you a few videos that help explain uh, what I just talked about. <laughs> 